What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you all the supplements I take while trying to get shredded. Now spoiler alert, it's not much different than when I'm trying to build muscle, but I do add a few supplements here and there. So right now it is 9 o'clock, a little bit later than what I was hoping to get done with my cardio this morning. Now I would typically like to eat my breakfast before going to do cardio, but the breakfast I'm having today, I would not feel like doing cardio after eating this thing. I'll show you what that is after I get done with cardio. But before I do any cardio, what I like to take for supplements is Amino Build. I take a scoop of this and I sip on it throughout my cardio session. So I'm gonna have a scoop in my shaker bottle right here. And then I had right at maybe half a cup of black coffee this morning. So I'm only gonna take one of these Hydroxy Cut Elites by Muscle Tech. The reason why I wouldn't take two of them is because I had that half cup of coffee. And if I were to take this full dose, it would just be way too much caffeine. So this is gonna help give me the energy I need to get this cardio session done with. Now we're gonna go upstairs and hit the elliptical. So while I'm mixing this up, I wanna explain to you why I like to take the amino build before my cardio session. And that is for hydration because this stuff has coconut water in there and then it has BCAs, which is gonna help preserve muscle mass and it's gonna help with recovery. Look at Brady's face in the monitor. <laughs> So he's up and ready to go, I see. No, this is dad, what are you doing? All right, here we go. 35 minutes on the elliptical. So what I like to do is just put on my headphones, have my aminos right here, and then just pick something on Netflix to watch that will kind of distract me a little bit. One eternity later. All right, so that was the end of that 30, well, right at 36 minutes of cardio. Now to go downstairs, take a shower, and then eat breakfast. So I rinsed off, and now I'm about to have some breakfast. So I showed you guys my overnight banana pudding oats. Now I'm gonna show you a new version of that which is even better because it is higher volume. Check this oatmeal out. Now, you gotta keep in mind, this is one cup, just one cup of oatmeal. Oh my gosh. Now I know the bananas don't look that appealing because of course when you leave bananas out like overnight or anything, they turn a little brown. But let me tell you, this tastes incredible. So we're gonna fast forward to later on tonight when I make this for tomorrow morning. All right, so this is actually two days later. I totally forgot that I did not film the whole oatmeal making process. So we're gonna go ahead and do it tonight. Now this is something if you're really hungry. I wouldn't suggest making this unless you have a huge appetite. So I'm gonna call this the cancer oatmeal or the not natty oatmeal because you use the microwave so much. That's where I'm getting the cancer part because you use the microwave like five or six times here. So let's go over the ingredients really quick. It's exactly the same ingredient that you would do overnight oats, but we're gonna do it in uh, not natty status, meaning it is gonna be enhanced big time. <laughs> so we have all the ingredients right here. We have salt, uh, stevia, the sugar-free jello packet, which is key, and then PB Fit, which is uh, just powdered peanut butter, of course, oatmeal, half a banana, and I already have the oats already uh, weighed out and everything. So this is one cup of oats, and just use the directions on the oatmeal. So it's one and a half cups of water in here already. It's kind of already <laughs> turned into overnight oats a little bit because it's been sitting here for a bit. So we're gonna put this in the microwave for three minutes, just like the directions on the back of the box says. And then I will see you in three minutes. All right, so the three minutes is up. All you do is pull it out and we're gonna add more water. I like to add half a cup each time. So I just pour half a cup more water in there, stir it up a little bit. So it's already getting really thick here. There we go. And we're gonna put it back in the microwave for one minute. And we're gonna repeat this process. <laughs> I know, it's kinda crazy. But we're gonna repeat this process five more times. All right, so we got a little spillage in the microwave. That always happens. If you can cook oatmeal in the microwave without it spilling, 
you have a raw talent, let me tell you, because it just doesn't happen for me. So we have the oats. Look how, look how much volume that is. So it's literally just cooking it. I know it looks very soupy right now, but I'll tell you in a second what happened. But it's just crazy that you can just add water to it, cook it over and over again, and that's just one cup of oats for that much volume is just unreal, unreal. So now we're gonna let it sit here, cool down a little bit where we're gonna start adding the ingredients. Now, I did think of a couple more ingredients that I do want to add that I didn't tell you guys. I'm gonna add some cinnamon. I cannot eat oatmeal without cinnamon. I love cinnamon. And then I might also add some of this pancake syrup, the Weldon Farms, zero calories, just to give it some more flavor. So we're gonna go ahead and just start flavoring this thing up. I'm gonna add two packets of stevia. You can just add as much as you guys want, depending on how sweet you want your oatmeal. And then salt. I like a lot of salt in my oatmeal, actually. This is gonna help with the pumps too, you know? Salt, and we're gonna add some of this powdered peanut butter. Just a tablespoon of that. And then the sugar-free banana pudding mix. I'm not really sure how much I put in here, just like maybe a tablespoon of that. I just go off of just the way it looks. You can taste it, like tomorrow, I'm gonna taste it and see how much, and then I know for next time to add more or less, depending on how sweet it is. And then I'm gonna add the cinnamon, and then the pancake syrup. Just give it a little bit more sweet taste. Give it a good mix here. Yeah, but I'm looking for your banana. Oh yeah, we gotta add the banana. You're right, you're right. So we're just gonna add this real quick. Mix that up, just mix all your dry and I guess your wet ingredient that you have, your pancake syrup, just mix that up first. And then the last ingredient will be the banana. Still very liquidy, check that out. But what happens is when you stick it in the refrigerator, when it gets cold, it firms up like a ton and you can eat it just like overnight oats. That's exactly what it is. It's just overnight oats on steroids pretty much. It's just, it's enhanced big time. So we got the half banana here and this is a perfect banana. Look at this, it's like perfectly ripe for like banana pudding. You know, if you have bananas, like they're too hard in banana pudding, but this is like perfectly ripe. We got a ton of them over here, look at that. That is perfect for banana pudding over here. So I'm just gonna slice this puppy up. Oh, that, that, that was a terrible slice. There we go. It smells good over here. Oh yeah, it smells so good, doesn't it? There's oats and like syrup smell. There we go. And then just stir it up. This is enough to share with like the whole family. <laughs> you Kinley, Brady, everyone. I probably will tomorrow, honestly. That's why I haven't made it in the last couple of days because I haven't needed this much volume. There we go. And then I'm gonna cover it up, stick it in the refrigerator. So you guys are gonna go back in time and I'll see you guys next time. So now you guys know how to make this incredible, huge volume oatmeal. Now I'm gonna show you what else I'm gonna have this morning for protein. So I have a cup of egg whites over here and then I'm gonna also add for added protein a serving of this Greek yogurt and I'm gonna put that on top of the oats with half a tablespoon of natural peanut butter, and this is gonna be breakfast. Oh, and of course I have to have the rest of my black coffee. So right now, my appetite is really, really high. So this is even hard for me to finish. You guys know that this volume is crazy. So I'm gonna sit here for about 20 minutes, watch some YouTube videos, and enjoy this meal because this is, volume-wise, the biggest meal I have in a day. Just about done with this oats and I am stuffed. So now let's talk about supplements I like to take right after breakfast. So this is more about health. So I take a tablet of fish oil, and then I take three tablets of the Platin Multivitamin, and then I take a clear muscle. Now I take clear muscle three times a day. I take one in the morning, I take one pre-workout, and then I take one later on in the afternoon, and then I take an extra vitamin C. And then every two weeks, I will, put all my pills in here so that I don't have to pull out every single one of these every single day. So this just makes it way easier. 
So while I've been inside doing some video for ZV Apparel, by the way, this is a ZV Apparel shirt. I showed you guys in my last vlog the new collection that they just came out with, but just in case you guys haven't seen that video, this is one of my favorite colors in that collection. This is called Sage. Now they came out with all different spring looking colors. Some of my favorite colors they ever came out with. So if you guys wanna check that out, I wear a large just for reference and people have been asking me, are they true to size and if they shrink? Yes, they're true to size because any other time I buy any other clothes, I buy a large in tops. Now for shrinking, I'm not 100% sure because I've never dried my clothes in a dryer, I always hang dry everything. So I would highly recommend you doing that just in case. So if you guys wanna check out ZV Apparel, use code ABLE and that will save you 20% off. So while I was doing all the video, Shelby has been outside pulling weeds with the kids. It is amazing outside here in Austin. It's around maybe 70 degrees. Oh my word, it is blown out right now. I gotta fix this real quick. All right, that's better. Kinley, you got a snot nose, don't you? She is sick. Her and Brady has been sick. Oh, you are nasty right now. Is that a doggy? So they have been out here pulling weeds. Oh, Shelby's been pulling out trees actually from our yard. Seriously, it's bad, it's embarrassing. <laughs> Kenley, you having fun? Brady, you having fun? Now I'm all ready to go to the gym and this is like the fourth outfit change in this video. <laughs> so now I'm gonna show you the supplements I take pre-workout and during my workout. And then after my workout, I'll show you everything that I take. Normally I would take my post-workout supplements with me, but I'm just gonna do it afterwards. So I take a clear muscle tablet right before going to the gym. So about 30 minutes out. And then for pre-workout, I'm taking the Shatter Elite. So I'm either gonna take this pre-workout or the Shatter Rip. It really depends right now, I only have have like maybe two scoops left of the new Shatter Ripped and you can only get that stuff at GNC. It's a really great pre-workout as well so I just cycle in between this one and the Rip. And then during my workouts I take a scoop of the Amino Build. So what I like to do is have my shaker bottle filled with aminos and then I'll bring like a big gallon jug of water. So I'll switch in between drinking water and BCAs throughout the whole entire workout. So today is gonna be a shoulder day. This is gonna be tough because I am sore from working chest at New X, which is that place I go to to get those electrodes hooked up to me. And I am so sore from that workout on Wednesday. Today is Friday, so I'm still sore. So I'm really wondering how the shoulder workout's gonna go. I might have to do a lot of side laterals and stuff and not a lot of pressing because I just don't know how much I'm gonna be able to press after that workout on Wednesday. Oh my goodness. What? They want to do the photo shoot. She's, she's also said they just want to do the photo shoot next week. What day is that? There's no way. She said the fourth. Is this an airplane? <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! Oh. Oh. <laughs> you. you had a giveaway in your face. Plus, I've been waiting on you to try to play the pools are looking all day. Oh. What's up everyone, welcome back to another workout. So let's go ahead and get started with this shoulder workout. So the very first exercise is seated dumbbell side raises. I did five sets of around 10 to 15 reps. And on the last set did a double drop set. And the reason why I did this seated instead of standing is to keep the momentum out of it. Because if I was standing and I would start to hit failure, I would use a little momentum to swing the dumbbells up. But while you're seated, you're not gonna be able to do that. After that, went into seated dumbbell shoulder press. I did five sets of around 8 to 12 reps. So the very first set I did 12 of and then I kept the same weight and as the sets went on I just couldn't do as many reps and so I ended at 8 reps. And I was only resting for one minute in between sets so I wasn't able to go extremely heavy on this. Normally I would go up to like 110 pounds but I stuck at 90 pound dumbbells throughout all those sets. After that went into leaning cable side raises. I did four sets of around 10 to 12 reps on the last set just did a single drop set. After that went into a seated machine shoulder press. I did four sets of around 12 to 15 reps. So this machine in particular is really light so I have to add a band to this machine because I have the max weight that you can put on this machine and I have to still add a band and I still get 15 reps. So it's a really light machine but it feels really really good on my shoulders once I have the band on there because for whatever reason without the band when I go up 
the machine gets lighter, it feels like. But with a band, it's the opposite. So as that band stretches, it gets heavier. So it kind of works really well with this machine. After that, went into incline bench, reverse dumbbell flies, superset with rope cable face pulls. I did four sets of each one of these exercises for around 12 to 15 reps. On the last set, did a double drop set on both of these exercises. So as you can see, I have my knees up on the bench a little bit, so that's gonna help uh, get my body more flat instead of on a regular incline if I was just laying down, uh, you're, you're more of an incline, but I wanted to change up the angles a little bit, so that's the reason why I have my knees up on the bench. And the face pulls, I'm just going forward, stretching, and then pulling back, trying to pull that rope as far apart as I can. After that, went into more rear delt work. I did cable crossover reverse flies. I did four sets of around 12 to 15 reps on the last set, just did a single drop set. And then moving on to the last exercise is dumbbell upright rows. I did three sets of around 12 to 15 reps on the last set, just did a single drop set. But guys, that's the end of the workout. I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna give this workout a try, it'll be written down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. So just made it home from that workout and I would give that workout probably a six out of 10. It was not that great of a workout. Even though I pushed myself, I just didn't feel great. At certain times during a prep, when you have lower carbs and lower calories, you just don't feel good. Like I couldn't get a pump no matter how hard I tried, but I did my best. So I'm around 200 and 250 grams of carbs, which is still a lot, but for where I was at like maybe a month ago when I was in my off season, it is way lower. So that's why I'm so low at energy and just can't get a really good pump right now. So I'm gonna show you a few options of my post-workout nutrition. So this is an all-in-one right here. So this is what I'm gonna to take today. This is the whey plus muscle builder. So this is a whey protein with creatine. So I'm gonna have a scoop and a half of this protein. You can find this at Walmart. And just because it's at Walmart, guys, doesn't mean it is a bad quality. I know Walmart gets a bad rep for, you know, like lower quality stuff, but nowadays Muscle Tech is at Walmart. So you can find this and it's a great product. So if I wasn't gonna take this, I would take the ISO way clear and then I would take creatine on the side because I always have to get creatine year round and the creatine that I would be taking is the Celtec Creator. So I'd take two scoops of this and right at maybe two scoops of the ISO way clear. This stuff tastes amazing. It doesn't taste like a regular protein powder. It mixes like a BCA or pre-workout. So this is one of my favorites by far. And then on a big muscle group day, I would take this cell tech right here. So this has a lot of carbs in it. So this is something that I took during the off season a lot. This has 150 calories in this thing. So I would take this right after workout with the ISO way clear. So I'm gonna mix this up. And then in about maybe an hour to an hour and a half, we're gonna eat dinner. So this is all the supplements I have post-workout. I know a lot of people think it's some magic formula. Now, supplements are exactly what the name is. It's just to supplement what you're not getting in your diet. And no matter how many supplements you take, unless you prioritize your diet and your training, you're not gonna see that much of a difference. So stop thinking it's some magic pill or some magic supplement out there that's gonna get you shredded or help you build a ton of muscle because is not out there. Now supplements can help because I've been taking supplements for 15 plus years. Ever since I started to work out really hard when I turned 17 years old, I've been taking supplements and I really do believe they help a ton. But if your training and your diet sucks, so is your progress. So the family has been outside all day, right? Whoa! <laughs> a little off balance. Oh. Oh. She's checking her tongue. Checking her tongue. Is your tongue okay, girl? She had that injury on her tongue, and every time she falls or does anything, she always checks the tongue to see if it's still intact. <laughs> By the way, her tongue has healed up a ton, right? Yeah. It's basically exactly. almost healed. Well, Let me see your tongue. Let me see your tongue. She so when you Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much healed up, girl. Good job. High five. Yeah. Hello, buddy. You having fun outside? Yeah. Man, you are sweaty. No, he's soaked. Oh, he's soaked. So he's got his sandbox wet now by the sprinkler. Is it fun? Yeah. 
two hours later. So after the kids played outside for a few hours, and now they're inside, and now they're taking a bath for a little bit before we eat dinner. So the kids are done taking a bath, and now we're about to eat some dinner. We're just having leftovers tonight. So I'm gonna have some leftover chicken that we cooked yesterday, and some lettuce that we have in the refrigerator. We really need to go to the grocery store because we're running out of food. And every week we normally go, but this week we haven't went yet. So I'm either gonna have to go shopping tomorrow, or we're gonna have to go order it and then go pick it up either tomorrow or Sunday. So now we're done eating and Kinley and Brady's about to go night night, right kids? Tell my camera night night. Night night. Okay, see you later. See you later. Kinley, 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 say bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Kids are off to bed. Now I'm about to have my last meal and I'm not gonna show you guys exactly how I make it because my last vlog, I just did this so I don't wanna repeat myself being back-to-back -back vlogs. So if you wanna check out that whole entire recipe, head over to that last vlog. So that's pretty much all the supplements that I have in a day. I know it's not that many and it really doesn't change much if I'm cutting or bulking. The supplements pretty much stay the same other than having the hydroxy cut in the morning and then the creatine, the different sources of creatine that has more calories when I'm bulking. But guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. All right guys, peace. If you want to check out that vlog so if you want to check out the recipe head so if you want to check out that recipe head over to that last vlog but that's gonna conclude hang on hang on hang on let me focus here i don't really have anything different so we're done so we're done so oh my gosh i know the bananas look disgusting all right kenley all right all right that's enough